You guys, it literally feels like the universe does not want us to get married. Hello friends, um, this is a video that I truly never expected that I was going to make. I don't want to make and Riser's already awake. <laughs> if you are new here, my name is Brielle. This is Riser, my almost nine month old. Um, he is teething. I try to put him down for a nap to film this and he's just not wanting to go, but that's okay. You're just gonna hang out with me? Yeah? I think it's become a trend on my channel and in life for me to just jump into things and be super excited and want to immediately share them with you guys. Like the fact that we bought a school bus and we started renovating it into an RV for tons of reasons. We had to stop doing that for a while, but we still own it. And then with us moving, we packed up almost our entire house. We're going to move and then that fell through as well, but I had already shared that with you guys. So now, um, I have to share with you guys that we are no longer getting married. And it's not, oh, we're not separating, we're not anything like that. We are still very much so, like, happy and in love, and we're going to get married at some point. But here's what happened. So, a few weeks back, I shared with you guys that we went and toured our dream wedding location. In that video, I shared with you guys that we were looking for a venue that could house like 70 to 80 people. We wanted a really small, intimate wedding. And on top of that, you guys know me, my style, my vibe. The reason why we fell in love with that place is it had kind of like an Arizona, like modern Arizona type feel to it, if that makes any sense. Hi, baby. Don't pull on my earrings. Don't you pull on my earrings. Don't you do it. Everything was right. The price point was right, the location was right, the the vibe of it was right. The fact that we could have a small intimate I wedding. Love you love dad. Yeah, me too. The fact that we could have a small intimate wedding and it wouldn't feel like the place was empty. Because that's a big thing is that a lot of the venues in Minnesota, like, they're beautiful and there's great venues, but they're made for 300 plus people. And we just don't want that. We want a small, intimate wedding. We've been spending all this time planning and dreaming about having our wedding there for the past mm, couple of months, it feels like now. And we got an email the other day saying that they are like officially closing. Like they are no longer going to be at that location. So our wedding venue permanently closed. Our... <laughs> Our caterers that we planned on, our photo booth that we planned on, all of this stuff was set up for we were going to get married October 8th. A lot of the wedding venues make you use their caterers, like they pick seven rest. My god. And ow, ow, ow. Riser, you're making this a lot more lighthearted. So thank you for, I would be crying if Riser wasn't here distracting me because I'm very, very, very upset by this. It's not their fault in any way, shape, or form. It's just like when you plan and you dream and you get so excited about something and it just gets like ripped away from you. It's sad. It's so sad. As I was saying, a lot of the venues will make you use one of their, one of the caterers on their list. And the place that we wanted was actually a food truck. And it was a food truck that Taylor and I I fell in love with when we lived downtown Minneapolis like it was a date night thing that every Thursday when we lived downtown we would go and get this food truck so we're like how cool would it be if they catered our wedding and sure enough it worked out they were available for that day the venue we originally chose for our wedding didn't make you choose from a list of caterers you could choose anyone you wanted and you didn't have to pay an additional fee to have them at pretty much any other venue if you choose someone off of their list you had to pay an additional fee. <sighs> I'm getting sad again. Obviously, everything happens for a reason and our location is still out there and the way we're supposed to get married, it, it's gonna happen the way it's supposed to happen, but it's like, we've been together for five years now. We've been engaged for four. We have two kids. Like, yeah, we're doing a lot of stuff backwards in life, but it's going to happen in the way it's supposed to happen. It just sucks. That venue, is closing, it's done, we're moving on, and now we're trying to find a new place. So we went to tour a place last night, and you guys, it literally feels like the universe does not want us to get married, because we were leaving the house, packed up both boys, packed ourselves up to go tour this venue, and the guy messaged us right as we were leaving, being like, I'm so sorry, I have a family emergency, I can't like make it tonight. And we're like, okay, something, 
Something is telling us that we are not supposed to get married. So I don't know if the universe is telling us we're supposed to elope, go to the courthouse. I don't know what it is, but everything just keeps like falling apart, it feels like. Grayson and I this morning actually ended up going there and touring it. Ready? Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Hi, how are you? Yes. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is right. and gorgeous and honestly everything I could want in a venue like it had getting ready rooms um, for the boys and the girls it had um, like a specific bar area it had bathrooms with stalls that's one thing about the original venue is it had one singular bathroom you know when people start drinking and you open up the seal like people are there's gonna be a line out the door like waiting to go to the bathroom but uh, there was a few things that I that I didn't love and this is no no way bashing either place I'm just sharing I share my life with you guys I share everything with you guys and I'm sharing this whole wedding planning process with you guys and this just just so happens to be part of it sadly it was just way too big for the amount of people that we're planning on inviting like I did convince Taylor to go from like 70 to 100 people so that I could invite some of my friends from New York and out of town people but even with that 100 people in that space it would feel like nobody showed up do you know what I mean and that is the problem we're running into is finding a cute modern aesthetic uh, location for a small party so if you live in Minnesota and you know of a place, like I don't really want to get married, and this is no offense to anybody, but I don't really want to get married at like a hotel where they have like a banquet hall or anything like that. Like you saw the two places in this video. You saw what I'm looking for. You, you see what I like, just clean and modern and aesthetic. Riser James, I need to take these out. We have five months. Five months, that's what's stressing me out so bad. So we do plan on touring another place next Thursday actually, and I will give you guys an update in the next video. They're actually extremely, extremely kind, and we told them our situation about the other venue canceling on us, and they said that they're gonna give us like a major discount, like more than half off, which is so unbelievably sweet of them. And so like just in general, the fact that they're offering that makes me wanna book with them. They have a kid's room at that location. Um, so when Riser and Grayson are feeling overwhelmed before someone can go in there with them and hang out in the kids room like that is another just a plus thing. So I'll keep you guys posted in next week's vlog about that. It's just, it's, it, it's heartbreaking. And I know that this truly in the hindsight of things doesn't matter, but the price was right. It was beautiful. It was literally everything that we wanted. So I'm just now so heartbroken. I'm so sad. But we're all... I was literally about to... I was literally about to say we're all healthy and he just quaffed in my face. You quaffed in my face. You quaffed in my face. We're all healthy, we're all alive. Oh, kisses. Thank you. Thank you, baby. You know what? I'm proud of myself because originally I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get through this video without bawling. Not the end of the world. Um, what is the end of the world is you pulling on my ear, mister. Give me a break, sir. Give me a break. Give me a break. The search continues. I will take you guys along. Um, this... This one that we're going to be touring at next week seems very promising, but it seems a little more like barn style, a little farmhouse, but like industrial farmhouse vibes. So we'll see. We're just trying to find a place that's affordable, that can comfortably have 70 to 100 people there without it feeling empty. And yeah, I'm not trying to spend 20 to 30 to 40 thousand dollars on one singular day as someone who has two kids now like i would much rather put that money towards a down payment on a bigger house for us so elopement might be the journey we go down i know this was a really short video um i apologize a lot of stuff's been going on in life and this was just one of the things and i 
Riser is getting two teeth. Oh yeah, thank you. And so many other things. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Um, let me know in the comments below what else you'd like to see on this channel. We're in a little bit of a rut, so I'd appreciate any suggestions on what you guys are wanting and like on my channel. Hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every Saturday. Having a teething baby is not easy, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.